Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Leo nilikuwa nimesema nataka kufundisha. Amen. Kuna nimesema nataka kufundisha leo. Amen. And I have 40 minutes remaining. Amen. Praise Jesus. Inside inside naona kuna glory mingi sana. Sijui pastor. Glory na kanga inside hii church ama ni. Eh? Glory na kanga inside. Una hata mimi nitaanza kuka inside sasa. Eh. Watu watu wengi wameka huku. Side. Eh, wewe unaenda inside pia leo. Eh. Sawa sawa. Praise Jesus. Bwana sifiwe. Praise Jesus. I believe you are well. Amen. I believe you are great in God. Bwana sifiwe. Praise Jesus. Tuko pamoja. Tuko pamoja. Amen. So today uh, the, the message message I'm a topic of my sermon is updated. Mbene bako I am updated. Ama 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 I want to ah uh, uh, sema tu I'm updated. I'm updated. Amen. Praise Jesus. But scripture. Amen. So topic updated. Amen. Now the original the original version ni and nilikona nafikiria ya updated ni I wanted to talk about sa zingine sa zingine we as Christians amen na fikanga place tuko like like una feel kuna burnouts si ndio you as a Christian kuna time una feel ku pray ni hard kusema word ni ngumu amen bwana sifiwe ama na kuonga peke yangu acha nijiongelele mimi kuna time kuna time music ya kuomba ni hard amen kwa mkasubui ni hard ku pray kusema acha nijiongelele unaona on up I am in the wrong forum. Amen. These are men and women of God who pray. <laughs> who continually stay in the word. Amen. <laughs> Praise Jesus. But then kuna, kuna, there's something that, that I started noticing. Amen. There's something that I started noticing and something Rev has taught us. Amen. As pastors, you, you try and 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 say something or do something about it amen of which that is not one of my strong areas amen i usually when i see something i usually remain quiet amen I remain quiet but but i want to eh dikones kuna vile na vile utaongeza maandishi amen bwana sifiwe so there's something that i started noticing and i hope I'll try, I'll try my level best, amen, to try and talk about it, and I might be harsh some, some, at some point, or do what you need to do with direct son, amen. I, 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 this, kuna, it, it, it reached a time then that I started noticing that there, kuna, there are people, amen, uh, that, that they, are, they have put their faith among their trust, like for example in, in people, amen, for example in leaders, so like their salvation, praise Jesus, that somebody, if you don't, if you don't call them maybe during the week, don't text them during the week, they feel like you have abandoned them and their salvation. Amen. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. And I want to talk a little bit about that. Amen. But that baby Lena say mother that we work out our own salvation. Amen. The Bible says we work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Praise Jesus. And for, for the next uh, like 35 minutes, amen. I want to talk about that and as a Christian it should be one of your goals or objectives to continually grow in the Word of God amen 
to continually grow in the things of God. And Pasi here will agree with me that even as a pastor, when you preach, when you teach your people, amen, you, you want to see them grow. You want to see them explore into things concerning God, amen. Pasi, I, I'm sure Pasi doesn't want people who come in his office every now and then concerning the same issue. Praise Jesus. The same issue, maybe Pastor prayed for him the other day. Even Pastor, he will start uh, doubting himself. Are my prayers, am I still, <laughs> am I, are my prayers working? Praise Jesus. So as a Christian, it will be your goal, your objective, to continually grow in the things concerning God. Amen? That you should put your trust, your faith in God. In the teens this, this morning, we were talking about uh, we, we are built to last. Amen? That our faith is built to last. That our foundation should be on Jesus Christ. He is the sure and firm foundation. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. So as a Christian, that is where you should measure or build your faith. Amen? Jesus Christ. That it is good. Yes, we say we are a family. It is good. And the fellowship of brethren is good. Amen? But after that, we, there's a slogan we say that we worship in the box, but we live outside. Amen? That we come here to worship. We come here to receive from God. But then when we, our, our lives, most of our lives are outside. Amen? Either in school, either at work, at home. That is where we spend most of our lives. Because we usually come here for two hours, then we leave. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus, that it is, I want you to get into, into, into your, the Rebbe says, into your Noah, amen, or Noe, or something like that, amen. So in the book of Acts, chapter 19, verse 2, that is not our main scripture, this is just my introduction, Acts, chapter 19, verse 2, when Paul, he, he had reached the, the Ephesians, or at Ephesus, and one of the questions he asked them, he asked them, since the day you believed, since you believed, since you believed, have you received the Holy Ghost? Have you, have you, hey, hey. have you, have you received the Holy Ghost? Praise Jesus. Have you received the Holy Ghost? That was what Paul asked the disciples or the people he met at Ephesus. That since the day you believed. Amen. So there was a, a, an expectation that from the day they believed, since when Paul was meeting them, that they should have been filled by the Holy Ghost. There is a stage that they should have come, or there is a stage they should have overcome. There is a stage, there is something that, that, that was needed, or that was expected of them. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Amen. And also in Mark chapter 9, verse 19, after Jesus had come from the mountain from praying, he met with his disciples, and the disciples, they, it was about the story about uh, casting out the demons. And the disciples could not. So when Jesus came down, he asked his disciples, that for how long shall I continue to be with you? For how long shall I be with you? That is Jesus Christ asking his disciples, men who had been with him in prayer, men who, men who had been with him, see, uh, who had seen him perform miracles. Amen? So there was some level of expectation that in your walk of Christianity, where I have been with you, is maybe for, for example, maybe let's say it was two years he had been with them. Amen. He says, I have been with you for these two, two years. I expect that you can cast out demons. I expect that you can heal the sick. You can lay your hands on the sick. But, but he looked, he was, he was disappointed as a leader. Amen. He was, he was disappointed maybe as their leader or as their pastor. That I have been with you. I have taught you these things. But then he says, for how long? For how long shall I continue? To be with you. Praise Jesus. And there's a statement there, he says, Oh faithless generation. Amen. Oh you faithless, oh ye faithless generation. Praise Jesus. Hebrews 5.12. This is a famous scripture. If you have passed through discipleship, you should be knowing of such a scripture. Amen. Hebrews 5.12, the writer says that by now I expect you to be teachers. Amen. I expect you to be teachers by now, but you are not. Amen? You are not. You still want to be taught. Praise Jesus. Hey, praise Jesus. 
Tell your neighbor, I'm updated. I'm updated. I'm updated. Have you have you shared on in your phone, mobile phone, maybe WhatsApp version? Zile za kitambo. There was a time that it could reach. You could not use it until it was. You could update the version. Amen. That you could not use it. You could not communicate if you had not updated your version. Praise Jesus. So tell your neighbor, I'm updated. I'm updated. I'm updated. Amen. That for you to continue as a, as a Christian, for you to continue uh, dealing with the day-to-day -day challenges, you need to update your Christianity. You need to raise your faith level. Amen. I say that, that where you are right now is where your faith has brought you. Where you are right now, this is where your faith level has reached you, has, uh, uh, has brought you. Amen. And for you to, to, go, to go higher, for you to go into the deeper places, amen, you need to stretch out. Praise Jesus. You need to stretch out. Jesus told the disciples that let us go and fish. But they told Jesus, we have been fishing all night. Praise Jesus. We have been fishing all night, but at your word. And the Bible says they ventured into the deeper places, meaning they had not been there. Praise Jesus. They had not been there. Where Jesus was taking them, they had not been there. They had not tried the place. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Tuko pamoja. Praise Jesus. So it, this, it, 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 it disturbed me that, that there are people who, could, who can enter into sin. There are people who can do some things wrong. Then they give an excuse. It's because Pasi did not text me. It's because and maybe say Shalene did not call me this week because we go to the same church because we pray together in church praise Jesus praise Jesus praise Jesus siju kuficha mi nitasema tu sindio ukiona inaku inaku nini you ask God to help you and also to help me amen praise Jesus praise Jesus so you find it's an excuse that you find yourself you're committing sin and you say because they don't care about me. I'll also not care about my salvation. And when you make the prayer, you are alone. Amen? You are alone. When you, when, when, I want, I want you to talk the, the, the story about the children of Israel, their story. Amen? When they were in Egypt and when they got into Canaan. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. And before God could send Moses to deliver them, the Bible says they were, when, when God, God said, when God was speaking to Moses, he says, I have heard their cry. Praise Jesus. I have heard their cry. Their cry is what has motivated me or it is, it is what has gotten me to come and save them. Amen. Their, their cry, the one they have been crying, that I can stretch out my hands and send you Moses so that you can deliver them. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. So as a Christian, when you are making that prayer, when you are deciding to walk with God, praise Jesus. Yes, there was an altar call that was made. But the decision, it was you, you are the one who made the decision to walk with Jesus Christ. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. And I'm going to preach this thing hard. You know why? Because I believe that, that this age where we are right now, this is the foundation. And if we do not give you good foundation or we do not give you good information, when you grow up or you become older, amen, and your Christianity is, people will look back and say, who was your pastor when you were young? Praise Jesus. So I'm going to preach this thing hard. Praise Jesus. I'm going to preach it hard. I preach it hard. So the Bible says that the, the, the Israelites prayed unto Jesus, unto God. They cried and God sent Moses unto them to deliver them. And, 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 and Moses, he did all those things with Pharaoh, with the Egyptians, and the children of Israel got out of the place. And there's a I want us to look at one, one uh, situation in Exodus chapter 32. Exodus 32, verse 1. When Moses had gone to, to pray before God, and before he went, when you read 30, uh, chapter 31, the Bible says he told Aaron, you, you, you will be the leader because I'm going to pray. Amen? For 40 days. So he, he stayed long there, amen? He stayed for quite some while there. And, and the children of Israel in verse 1, when you read, the Bible says, 
that they saw, we, we do not know where this Moses has gone. Amen? It says that, and when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up, make us gods which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, amen, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. Amen. That this man Moses, that who, who took us out of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. Praise Jesus. And, that, and, and this is how some of us behave. Amen. That, that this, this man, this man, let's say major, amen, that took me out of Egypt. Amen. I do not know what has become of him. He has not texted me this week. He has not called me this week. I do not know what he has become of me. Amen. He has, he has stopped caring about me. Amen. So this morning I am caring, or this afternoon I am caring about you. Amen. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. And he says, he says this man Moses. So what, what I got, what I got from that, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. What I got from the scripture is, first of all, they say this man Moses who brought us out of the land of Egypt. First of all, that was not correct. Praise Jesus. Because they did not cry unto Moses. Praise Jesus. They cried unto God. Sindio, they cried unto God. They cried unto God and told God, God deliver us from these Egyptians. Deliver us from this slavery. And it is God who delivered them. Praise Jesus. So which means they did not get or understand where they were coming from. Who got them from where they came. Praise Jesus. And that is why in the morning in the teens we were dealing about the foundation that we are built to last. Where is your foundation built as a Christian? As you continue to develop as a young Christian, as you continue to grow as a Christian, where is your foundation built? Where is your foundation? Where is your trust built? Is your trust built on, on your pastor? Is your trust built on your leader? Or is your faith built on Jesus Christ? Praise God. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. I'm here to tell you that, that, that and, and we read in, in, in the Bible, the book of Judges, chapter 1, verse 19. The Bible says, and the Lord was with Judah. Praise Jesus. And the Lord was with Judah. I'm here to tell you that the Lord is with you. You as an individual, the Lord is with you. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. You as an individual, praise God, even before we come together as a family, even before we come together as, as a family to worship, to pray together, the Lord he is with you. You as an individual, you as Babu, the Lord is with you. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. So they say that we do not know what has become of Moses. We do not know what has become of him. So by, by them saying that statement, it gave them a right. It's like they, they, were, they, were, they were justified to make the gods. They were justified to make the calf. Amen? Praise Jesus. That by them saying that we do not know where Moses has, it, say, it means they were justified. That we will make this calf. Amen? That I will listen to secular music because he has not known where I am this week. Amen? That this week I will go to the, to the party because before I used to go, he used to call me. Somehow he used to know. He used to call me and tell me, hey, where are you? Oh, happy? What are you doing now? Amen? Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. He says, he says, for this man, we do not know where he is. We do not know where he is. And I want you to watch out for, for Aaron's in your life. Amen? I want you to watch out for these men. These men who are called Aaron. This young Christian or maybe fellow Christians who are called Aaron. You know why? <laughs> you know why? When you read verse, verse, verse 23, no, verse 22, amen? This is Moses, he came to Aaron and told, and this is the, this is the question Moses asked Aaron, that Aaron, why have you done, why have you led these people into sinning? Why have you led them into committing such a sin? Now Aaron, Aaron Aliwaruka, Aaron says, verse 22, and Aaron said, Let not the anger of my Lord wax hot 
thou knowest the people that they are set on mischief that you know them you know you know them he's not a strong christian you know them amen i know you you are mokoka juzi i know you amen he says he says thou knowest the people that they are set on mischief then verse 23 says for they said unto me make us gods which shall go before us for as for this moses i want you to listen for as for this moses the man that brought us up out of the land of egypt we watch not what is become of him amen but these men they came to me and you know them amen you know these people amen i want you to watch out for these people and when you read Uku, when verse, verse 2, when the people came to him, make us God. He had a little idea, amen? He told them, bring gold. Go, the ones you got from Egypt, bring them to me. He did, not, he did not say anything against them. He did not say, hey, it is not right. Let us wait for Moses. Or, or, or let us think of it this way. What, what would have happened if, for example, they could have decided, we don't know where Moses is. Let us send like two or three men to go and look for Moses, where he is, amen? Where he is, let us go and find out where he is. Or, or else, they say, let us, let us pray to this, this God that Moses used to pray to, amen? This God that Moses used to pray to and, and he could do miracles. What, what, what could have happened if they could have done that? If could they, have pray, could they have prayed to this God? Praise Jesus. But them, they, they, they say, let us make us gods. And you know why? Why, why, why they did that? Because, because they had, they had the, the, Egypt, the Egyptian uh, culture of the spirit was still in them. Was still in them. You remember in the wilderness when, when, the, when the Egyptians were coming after them, they said, Oh Moses, why have you brought us to die in the wilderness? Why? Why? Why have you done so? Why have you done so? And another time, when they did not have food or water, they said, you could have left us in Egypt. We could have eaten watermelons there. Amen? Praise Jesus. There was food there. We could have eaten there. Praise Jesus. And that is how some of us are. Amen? That, that we are in Christ, but, but, but there's they, they still some, some wildness is still in us. Amen? Some wild, 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 in, eh? Thank you, thank you. We are together. Amen? It was still in them. <laughs> it was still in them. And the reason, let me tell you, the reason why they made gods, it is not because Moses had gone, had delayed. The reason why they made gods is because the, the Egyptian culture was still in them. They had, not let, they had not let go of it. Amen? They had not let go of the Egyptian culture, of their practices. Amen? So they remembered in Egypt, there, there used to be gods. These Egyptians used to worship gods, so we will, we, will, we will do like them, amen? Because that is what they were used to. It's not that Moses delayed. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Tell your neighbor I'm updated. I'm updated. I'm updated. Tell him my version Saini 2.0, amen? <laughs> eh? Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. That, that, that the, reason, the reason why you still listen to secular music, the reason why you still find it hard struggling with sin, is because the sin nature is still in you. Amen? It is not because I have not called you. Praise Jesus. It is not because I have not texted you. Praise Jesus. It is because the sin nature is still in you. And you have to deal with it. Praise Jesus. You have to let go of it. Praise Jesus. And, 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 and when, when, when you read the other amazing thing I noticed about this, the story of Israelites coming from Egypt to Canaan. The first time I read that story where God says that I will send you to a land flowing with milk and honey. Me, like, literally, I wanted to see in the Bible where this, I wanted to see that they went to Canaan. There was milk everywhere. There was honey everywhere. Amen? And I was, that is how, that is how I was. And when you read that story, you find out that this land that God told them, I will take you to, this land, there were people there. Praise Jesus. There were people in Canaan. There were people in Canaan. And for them to, to inhabit, for them to stay in Canaan, God made a covenant. When you read Judges 2.1, he says that I made a covenant with you and your fathers 
that, that I will take you to a land, I will take you from Egypt into a land flowing with milk and honey. Amen? And I did my part. I did my covenant. Then he says, for, for, to drive, I want us, let us go, Judges 2. Amen? Judges 2. I want your... Judges chapter 2, I'll read quickly. Verse 1 says, And an angel of the Lord came up from Gilgal to Bochim and said, I made you go up out of Egypt and brought you unto the land, which I saw unto your fathers. And I said, I will never break my covenant with you. Then listen, verse 2. And ye shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. That this same land where Jesus, where God had told them, I will give it unto you. Amen. That was a promise. That was a covenant that he, he will give it unto them. But there was a condition. Praise Jesus. There was a condition for you to take this land. Amen. And when you read Numbers 13, when, they were, when, when, when Moses sent spies, when they came, even those that gave a bad report, they said, surely the land we have seen, it flows with milk and honey. Before they said that the men there are stronger, they, are, they, are, they, they make us look like they're swoppers. Amen. Before they said that, they said, surely the land we have seen, surely it flows with milk and honey. Praise Jesus. And as a Christian, as a, as a growing or as a maturing Christian, it is one thing that you need to understand. Amen? That where you are going, yes, God has given you a promise. Amen? Yes, there are, pro there are prophecies that have been given unto you. Praise Jesus. But there are things you have to drive out. To drive out. And when you read verse 2, he says that, that, that this was my covenant with you, that you shall not make no league with the inhabitants of this land. You shall throw down their altars. Praise Jesus. But he have not obeyed my voice. Amen. That he says that I was to take you to this land. And I have, I have, I have finished my journey. I have, met, I have met part of the deal. Amen. But the, the other part of the deal was that you have to drive them out. And so he says in verse 2, you have not done so. And when you read chapter 1 verse 28, the Bible says, And when Israel became stronger, praise Jesus, when Israel became stronger, the Bible says they, 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 they made tribute with the Canaanites and they did not drive them out. When the, when the Israelites became stronger, which means there was a, there was a time they were weak. Amen? And God, God, God gave them leeway because you are weak or maybe because you did not know these people. Amen? And Paul, said, Paul says it this way in Acts that, that, that in the time past, amen, God let your ignorance go, go away. Amen? But he said, but right now, He's leading you, he requires, he demands repentance from you. Praise Jesus. So there was a time you as a growing up Christian, there were things you were struggling with and, and, and we, we can accept. Praise Jesus. We can accept. Maybe for the first six months, we can accept. Amen. But you have stayed in church two, three years. There's, an, there's a problem. Praise Jesus. And you still see pastor for the same issues. There's a problem. How much a pastor? There's a problem. There's a pro <laughs> there's a problem. There's a problem. So the Bible says, and when Israelites became strong, which means by by, by their str even the Bible is acknowledging, Amen, that it uh, that it came to pass, Amen. So when, when even the Bible says it came to pass, they were strong. It is acknowledging there was a time that these people they were weak, Amen. But then it says they, it came to pass that they became stronger. And when they became stronger, the God, God required them that you drive out the Canaanites. God required them to get rid of the sin, of the iniquities, but they did not. Amen? And listen to how God responded. Verse 3. The same verse of Judges 2. Listen to how God says. He says, verse 2, that you did not drive them out. Amen? You did not obey my voice. Then verse 3 says, wherefore, I also say it. Amen? And say, oh, Oh, it says, wherefore, <laughs> wherefore I also say it, I will not drive them out from before you. Amen? You, de you decided not to, to drive them out. I've also decided I will not. Amen? God al konawambia mtajua hamjui. Amen? It says that, wherefore I also say it, I will not drive them out from before you. Because in the beginning that was your responsibility. But they shall be as thorns in your sides. Amen? And he says, and their gods shall be a snare unto you. Because we did not drive them out. Because we did not drive them out. He says that, you, that they shall be as thorns. 
on your side. This is God. This is God. You get? You expect him to be merciful and says, because you did not drive them, I will do it for you. Mm -mm. He made his part of the deal. He took them. He made sure they were in Canaan. He fought their battles. Praise Jesus. He fought their battles. He gave them manna in the, in the wilderness. Amen. He gave them bread in the wilderness. He, he, when, when, they were, when they were sick, the Bible says he, he raised a snake that when they could look at it, they could get well. Amen. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. He had their back. Amen. He made, he, he, he made sure they will reach in Canaan. And when they arrived there, he told them, you were to do this also, but you did not. But you did not. So I will also not do it. We will remain that way. Amen. There will be as thorns on your side. There will be a snare to you. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. And I want also to, to share shortly, we will not go there, Genesis 12, the story of Abraham and Lot. Amen. I know I made mention of it last time. When you read chapter 13, sorry, chapter 13, the Bible says that, the Bible starts recording of how Abraham was blessed. Amen. Of how Abraham was blessed, was blessed. Then I think verse 3 or 4 there, the Bible says, and Lot also. Amen. And Lot also. So which means his, his blessing was connected to Abraham. Amen. His blessing was connected to Abraham. Because the Bible says, and Lot also, who was with Abraham. Amen. He had many cattle and sheep and goats. Amen. That and Lot, which means his blessing was connected to Abraham. And when, when they disconnected, when Abraham disconnected himself, from Lot, he, he, his life. When, when the next, the next time you read about Lot, is that he has been abducted. Amen. Then the next time you read about Lot, is that he's, he's, he's being chased away from Sodom and Gomorrah. Amen. And he left only with his wife and daughters. Amen. And he left his wealth in Sodom and Gomorrah. And because it was difficult for the wife to, because he had, she had. She, she saw we are, what we are leaving behind is too much. She looked back and she turned into a salt of pillar. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Oh, it, and Mr. Ma, into a salt of pillar. <laughs> Amen. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. That is, that is what happens. That is what happens when, when, when you put your, your trust to somebody else. Such that when you are separated from them, you will be if you, if, you, if you do not have a good foundation if your foundation is not in jesus christ when you are separated from them you will be your life will be in will be a distraction amen, amen. praise jesus amen. praise jesus amen. when you are disconnected from them when you move away from them because he used to see uh, he is praying this way let me also pray that way amen your your, your trust was in him amen that today uh he has not come to church actually in the home amen let me actually it after form he has not come to church let me also go out amen because you 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 and his god uh, god knows you two together amen <laughs> you you together with him amen god knows that you share salvation praise jesus praise jesus my desire for you and for each and every person here amen is to see us grow into God. Amen. Into grow. The Bible says in Ephesians 4.15. Amen. Growing into Jesus in all things. Praise Jesus. Growing into Jesus in all things. Growing into Jesus. Amen. Into Jesus. The demons in Acts. The Bible says, Jesus we know. Peter we know. Who are you? Amen. You will go somewhere and pray that in the name of the God that Pastor Joshua prays. Demons will speak over to you. Jesus we know. Pastor Joshua, we know. Who are you? Praise Jesus. Who imagined Shetana and Apolisa Sole? Come here. Hey. 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 Just imagine a devil asking you such a question. Who, who, who are you? Who are you? Jesus, I know. Pastor Joshua, I know. Who are you? Because you have put your trust, you have been coming to church because Pastor Joshua is there. You have been coming to church because Reverend Evans is there. Amen. He's there. He will. He will. He's there. So I will come. Amen. When he's not there, there is no anointing. Akunanga anointing church. When he's not, <laughs> eh? when he's not there, 
Eh? <laughs> eh? When he's not there, mm -mm. don't feel God. When he's there, you feel God. Amen. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. And and and, and, and let me let me let me finish by this. Hebrews chapter chapter eleven. Tell your neighbor I'm updated. I'm updated. I update my Christianity every day. Amen. Praise Jesus. And 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 because of because of, of time, there's there's, there's there's so much in Hebrews uh, from verse eleven, but I'll read verse 32, 33, and then I'll jump to Hebrews 12. The Bible says, And what shall I more say? For the time will fail me to tell of Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, and of Jephthah, and of David also, and Samuel, and of the prophets. Then listen, verse 33. The Bible says, Who through faith, who through faith, they subdued kingdoms. Praise Jesus. That who through faith, they wrought righteousness. Who through faith, they obtained promises. Who through faith, they stopped the mouths of lions. Praise Jesus. That who through faith, they quenched the violence of fire. That who through faith, escaped the edge of the sword. Who through faith, out of weaknesses, they were made strong. Who through faith, they waxed violent in fight. Who through faith, they turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Amen? That who through faith, praise Jesus, who through faith, not who through uh, Pastor Joshua's faith, amen, who through faith they subdued kingdoms, who through faith they shut the mouth of lions, praise Jesus, praise Jesus, praise Jesus, that who through faith they quenched the violence of the fire, who through faith, and the Bible says of these men, the world was not worthy. The world was not worthy. And the Bible also says that this man, this man from verse 39, and this all, having obtained a good report through faith. Praise Jesus. Having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promises. Why? Verse 40. God having provided some better thing for us. Amen that they without us should not be made perfect. That these men who wrought righteousness, who subdued kingdoms through their faith, that they have not re received their promises, they have not received their rewards. Why? Because of you. Because of you. And you are here. You are here, you are saying, I will sin because somebody has not done this. I will do this thing because this, this, the, who you say, Ajani call here, you are, you are giving excuses for your sins. And they are men who through faith, they are men who through faith, they subdued kingdoms. And for them to receive the reward, they are waiting for you. <laughs> they are waiting for you. They are waiting for you so that it can be made complete. They are, they are, they are waiting for you. And the Bible says, and this is how, verse, verse, chapter 12, verse 1, wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses praise jesus that we are we are compassed with a great cloud of witnesses and who are these witnesses amen those that we have read in verse 33 amen men that subdued kingdoms men that that quenched fires men that that shut the mouths of lions praise jesus praise jesus these, these were men that the world did not deserve. Praise God. Praise God. You know, sometimes I, 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 I wonder, sometimes it disturbs me that, that, that our, Christian, our Christianity, it needs to be like, you know, nowadays somebody can, can, can maybe talk about you. Amen? For example, there's this, you can say me, I want to say me. There's this, my program, Yabahati. Amen? That he, that he started in NTV. I have never watched it. Amen. I've never watched it. But but the reason why is he before it came out, he said that people people talk about me so much. So I want to show my humanity to them. I want to show my humanity. Not not even Jesus. I want I want to show that I want to show them that I'm also human. Praise God. I want to show them that I'm also 
human. Praise God. Praise God. The, the, the Hebrew says this, they, they were men who, who through faith, they subdued kingdoms. Amen. So, so if, 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 if you, cannot, you cannot subdue people speaking ill of you, how can you subdue kingdoms? How can you shut the mouth of the lion? How? 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 These were men through faith. I want us to, 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 to we have a strong foundation in Jesus Christ. Amen? We, we stop being baby Christians that every time we are crying. Amen? Every time we are, if, if, they, if they were crying Christians, Hebrews 11 could not be there. That, that, there's a chapter in the Bible that is dedicated to men who through faith they subdued king. There is a chapter in the whole Bible. It has been written about Rahab, about Abraham, about Sarah. It, there is a chapter in the whole Bible. Amen. In the whole, this, 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 this is in, in Jesus. There is somewhere where, hey, this one, he subdued kingdoms. He, he where, where, where can you appear? He, <laughs> Hebrews 11. Let's say it was, it was being written during our time. Amen? If Hebrews 11 was being written during this time, could you, could you be here among them? Amen? Could you be among the candidates who could appear here? That he eh, and Vanessa, a woman who was strong in faith. Amen? Will you, will you appear here? Will you appear here, Hebrews, if it was being written in our times? In this era, will you be here? Praise Jesus. So the Bible says that the way of foreseeing we are, we also are compassed about with so a great a cloud of witnesses. And this cloud is depending on you. Amen. It's depending on you. Like Paul said, that I have finished my race. Amen. I have finished my race. And in Philippians, he says that, that there were things that were behind me. There were things that, that were happening in my life. But I chose to not, not to look at them. That I may fix my eyes on the prize. Praise Jesus. That I may fix my eyes on the prize. So he says that this cloud, that, that, so, so he says, wherefore, seeing we have this cloud, he says, let us lay aside every weight. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. Let us lay it aside. Amen? Let us lay aside and let us run with patience the rest that is set before us. Amen? These are the conditions he's telling us that since there is this cloud of witnesses that is, that is looking over us, that is depending on us, is, is let us lay aside every weight. Let us lay aside every besetting sin is Jesus let us lay aside every besetting sin and let us run this race praise Jesus with patience and with with patience he says let us run this race and let us run with patience the rest that is said before us the amplifier says let us run 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 this patience hey, this race with patience <laughs> and active perse perseverance the Amplified says, let us now run this race with patience and active perseverance. And the Holy Spirit is reminding me of, a, of a, there's, there's something. When, when I was in primary school, I used to run. Amen? I used to run 100 meters. Amen? So there was this time, I, I wanted to stretch myself a bit. Amen? To run the 400, 400 meters. So I thought that it is the same as 100 meters. Amen? You, 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 you run quickly, you run quickly. So, <laughs> there, was, there was another competitor of mine. He, we used to call him Chief because he had, he, had, he, had <laughs> he had a big stomach. Amen? So, we started with him. Season to Tulukwa number one and number two. And the people who were used to running the race, they were just behind us. Amen? So, we ran 100 meters. I ran, I ran. I 200 meters. Amen. But here the Bible says, let us run this race. Amen. With patience. Amen. With active perseverance. So, and after that, I learned my lesson. Amen. I learned my lesson that the next time I will run a 400 race. Amen. 
that I will I will keep my energy. Amen. I will keep my energy and and nikifika ile 100 meters where I know I am strong. Amen. Ni nayo nayo. Amen. <laughs> so I, I I run with patience and with perseverance. Amen. I run with patience and with have you ever seen the athletics at the Olympics when you see for example the 3000 steeplechase that we are very dominant. Amen. You usually see those people that our those when you are number 1 number 2 they are they are somewhere in the middle amen they are they are they are running the race with patience and with active pers hey, perseverance <laughs> hey, they, are <laughs> they are they are somewhere in the middle of the park they are, they are running with patience and with perseverance amen and and when they get to the final lap you you find them now begin to stretching begin to stretching begin to stretching and those that were in the front, unanza unanza kona waki 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 rudenyuma waki rudenyuma. So here he says there is a cloud that is witnessing your salvation. There is a cloud that is watching you. That is dependent on you as an individual. Amen. Not not fast as youth of flame, but fast you as Vanessa. There is a cloud of witnesses. Not a witness. Witnesses. Amen. There is a cloud of witnesses that is watching you that is dependent on your faith, that their reward is dependent on your faith, that their promise is dependent on you finishing this race with active perseverance, amen, with patience, amen. They want to receive their, they, they, they ran their race, like Paul said, that I have run my race, amen. I have finished it. I have fought a good fight. Praise Jesus. I have fought a good fight, but nowadays we don't want to fight. Amen. We don't want to fight. We want this land that is flowing with milk and honey. But we do not want to drive out the Canaanites. We do not want to drive out the Jebusites. We do not want to drive out the Hebites. Amen. We want this land, this good Christianity. Amen. We do not want to deny ourselves. Jesus said that unless you deny yourself, unless you carry your cross, we do not want to do that nowadays. Praise Jesus. When, and when you, when, when, you, when you know that, when it gets to you, you will, you will welcome. That is why you, you, you read scriptures where Paul says that he, he, he could rejoice. He could rejoice in, 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 in the hardness, in the hardships that he was going through. Because he knew, he knew there were people that went before me, that they are dependent on us, that are dependent, that they, are, they have finished their race. The reward is depending on me. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. And finishing, allow me to read Revelation chapter, chapter 3, verse 21. This is a promise. Jesus said, to them that overcome, to them that will overcome, to them that he will overcome, he says, they will sit with me. Amen. In my throne. Not, not even that they will sit beside me. Or they will sit on, on my side. He said, they will sit with me in my throne. He says, as my father also gave me to sit with him in his throne. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. So to them that overcome, there is a promise. He says, you will sit with me. You will sit with me. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Tell your neighbor I'm updated. I'm updated. I'm updated. updated. I'm updated. updated. Praise Jesus. Amen. Praise Jesus. That, that as a Christian, desire to grow, desire to develop, desire to know things of God. Amen. Don't be, don't be a, 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 a normal Christian. You come to church, you pray only on Sundays, you read your word only on Sundays. During the week, there's nothing you have done. Praise God. Praise Jesus. In the morning I was telling the teenagers we need to come out of this place where where every time we are fighting when I go somewhere will I still be saved when I come back you are doubting every time you are doubting your salvation we need to get out of that that situation or that pocket that you are doubting from January to December ever doubting if you are saved amen we need to get out of that place and begin to walk into the, the deeper waters of Jesus the deep waters with God going into the deep with Jesus. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jen, I believe I was giving you the microphone after I finish.
Praise God. I think you can give it up for him better. Amen and amen. Thank you. It's updated. Nilikuwa na issue. Kitu kama hiyo. Lakini si ati. Ati ya mbatla or something. No. Mtu wakua na ni text this week. And alikuwa na shida. But it's alright. It's alright. But it's still on the thread. I just want us to stretch our hands towards Pastor Brian. Just speak a blessing upon his life. Speak strength. Double favor upon his life. Double grace. God to take him from strength to strength, faith to faith, from grace to grace, from glory to glory, that everything that he puts his hands on is going to be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. In ministry, he is blessed. Signs, wonders, and miracles shall follow his ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak strength where he may be feeling weary in the mighty name of Jesus. That God, you elevate him, you take him to levels that he could not imagine in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you and we give you glory, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. And it's offering time. As we remove, um, as we remove, there is um, something that I learned. As the ushers take the, um, the uh, envelopes, yes, the envelopes. Um, there's something that I learned in 2 Samuel. I don't remember the exact chapter. I think it's chapter 22, but I'm not so correct. Um, David said, I will not give God anything that does not cost me. And there's something that I saw so profound with our bishop that me, literally I decided I will take it as an example. There's a time that um, every time we are giving out offerings, bishop hanzangi kwenda kwa bag, kwanza kutafuta pesa. If you've ever noticed, she usually always has envelopes ready. Equal, we are giving for thanksgiving, we are giving offerings, we are giving any giving. She usually has several envelopes and they are brown. Do not ask me how I see that, but I usually see. They are brown that she usually has in her bag. So when she tells, when she anafika to the pulpit and um, the lady removes her things and all that, usually removes her offerings and places them there. What does that show us is that she is usually very intentional about her giving that during the week she usually puts what she's going to give to God. Hakujangi on Sunday to start looking for what am I supposed to give, what am I supposed to give unto God. That is an example of an intentional giver. It's not that you're coming on Sunday, you're like, okay, I think he message him and he blessed. So I think Zatoa maybe a hundred bob. No, he message him and he bless him and he prick. I think Zatoa fifty bob. I see just in a pesa associates it to our offering. The whole week, you have been using money in various things. Maybe that's on the cookie and or something of a sort. So I took whatever Bishop usually does. During the week, I put, it's not, this is not Bible, but what is Bible is being intentional in your giving. I took what she usually does. I have several envelopes. And all of them are titled different. Tithe, fast food, seeds, Thanksgiving, normal offering all those things and during the week in the middle of the week i usually put amounts in each of them as i continue with the week god is speaking to me to add on to it so when i come and on sunday i don't have to what bishop and mesema we remove a seed or a thanksgiving or something once in a person or something of the sort no i usually have it already there with me and when david said i will not give to god anything that does not cost me he says that I will never present anything before God that hides me, cost me, money, anything from my pocket. See, at you scale chungu in giving, no, there is no blessing to that. But the fact that you feel you are close to God to a point that you will not just come empty handed in His presence, you will not just come empty handed in His house, but you have to remove something that has cost you, see, out of your normal, but something extraordinary. Lost in 